In this video, we're going to test out some popular plasterboard fixings to see how much weight they can actually support before the plasterboard fails. I have actually previously done a test using some different plasterboard fixings, but there were some which I haven't tested out, which will be tested in this video. We're going to test out the Easy Grip. These are pretty new to the market, and these do look like a decent fixing. For all of the tests, I'm going to use 12.5 millimeter thick plasterboard. We're also going to test out the Thorsman Duo Max. We'll then test out the blue rosette fixings. You can actually get these in three different sizes and three different colors, but we're going to be using the blue ones. And finally, we're going to test out the blade fixer. The last time I did this test, I did it outside. Unfortunately, it is raining today, so I'm doing the test inside. From the last video, the worst performing fixing was the metal self-drive plug, which failed at 53 kilograms. There are a lot of variables when doing a test like this, but I'm using exactly the same equipment that I used in the last test. When loading up the shelf, I don't use massive increases in weight. I normally increase the weight gradually by a couple of kilograms at a time. But I edit this bit out, so you only see me adding the weight in large increments until failure. I also put the weight as close as possible to the plasterboard. These are the easy grip fixings. These work straight out of the box. You simply drill a 22 millimeter hole and then insert them. These are very easy to use. This is the Rosette plasterboard fixing. Again, these are very easy to use. Simply drill a 10 millimeter hole and use it as you would do a wall plug. I have done videos on how to install all of these fixings. I'll place links to those videos in the description. These are the Thorsman Duo Max plasterboard fixings. These are very easy to use again. Simply drill a 10 millimeter hole and use them as you would do a wall plug. These work straight out of the packet and they're very easy to use. If you find these videos useful, please give it a thumbs up as this really helps the channel. If you can also share the video, that would be fantastic. This is the blade fixer. I'm afraid that I've had quite a lot of problems trying to install these and get them to work, but we're gonna test them out anyway. With the blade fixers, I have had to do two tests. 
one where I've tried to get them to work the best I can from the front and the second one I have helped the blade fixer from behind oh, yeah. which is something that you could never do in real life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a brand new piece of plasterboard and I'm going to install the fixings as they would be fixed if it was a perfect fixing scenario and that is very unlikely to happen with this fixing. So now all four of those are fixed perfectly. You're not going to get them fixed any better than that. And there's absolutely no chance at all that I could ever do that if that was a proper petition wall. There is absolutely no chance. I'd even struggle getting them to work in the first place. So this is assuming that you can get every single one of these four fixings to work perfectly as it should do. That is impossible for me to do. There's no chance on this earth that I could do that, but somebody out there might be able to. The best performing fixing from the last video was the spring toggle which failed at 176 kilograms. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.